You can see RV after RV right here behind me in between the dozens of tents here at Camp Hope. Take a look at this Facebook post from Julie Garcia, director of Jules Helping Hands. She's thanking the community for giving the people at Camp Hope a place to get out of the elements for cheap. This post is getting a lot of attention now. Local business owners in the area are frustrated with the growing camp, including the owner of Liberty Tires. I'm not against the camp as much as it's just grown. Like every week there's more and more people. There's stuffing way too many people on one area. Um, and that's my whole issue with that camp. Here's a look at Divine's Towing, helping get the RVs into the homeless encampment. The city of Spokane is under the impression these RVs are not in running condition. As the city works out a solution for the people living at Camp Hope, these RVs are now another factor. It costs the city $1,000 to tow any RV, but they can't do anything at the camp without washout approval because they're on washout land. What to do with those long term uh, becomes a consideration. There's a personal property consideration as well. Those are all pieces of information that we're trying to learn as we um, develop a, a way to, to work together with, with people on the site there, people who need services. Brian Coddington says the city understands the frustration of both the neighbors and businesses in the area and the people at Camp Hope, but he says the solutions take time. Mayor Woodward is planning on presenting a new shelter space plan at Monday's city council meeting. So I called Divine's Towing, who you saw helping get these RVs into the camp. We are setting up a time to talk with them as soon as possible. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, CREM2 News. CREM2 reached out to WashDOT. They released a statement which says, in part, we are aware that several RVs have been illegally placed on and around WashDOT property. This is an illegal action, and we are looking at ways to have them removed with cooperation from our local law enforcement partners. The statement goes on to add that with the opening of a potential shelter, we are beginning to explore options to have the encampment disbanded, removed, and the property cleaned up.